The game of basketball has evolved over the years with new changes even coming to the game today. And you might be surprised to see how much has changed since the early days of basketball where they would shoot free throws underhanded, throw up three pointers like this, and even get into fist fights on the court. The original game of basketball started off as a simple game. It has slowly progressed into a global powerhouse that is played and watched now around the world. Not only has there been rule changes and new additions to the game, different players have found ways to make it their own. With the game of basketball being so different today than when it was invented, let's take a look back. It all started in 1891 when James Naismith created a sport that could be played during winter to keep athletes in shape. And this sport was originally called basketball. The same name we're used to today, but separated into two words. This is only one weird thing among many in the early stages of hoops. Originally, players would use a soccer ball and two peach baskets to play the sport. This is a lot different than the leather ball and steel rims that are used in today's game. Naismith also had 13 original rules of basketball, which included some ridiculous things that aren't seen in today's game. For example, a player couldn't dribble or run when they had the ball. They had to pass it from the spot that they caught the ball. Another odd aspect of the game was the timing. Instead of four 12 minute quarters like the NBA or two 20 minute halves like the NCAA, there were only two 15 minute periods. And this also included a shortened halftime of only five minutes. The first major basketball league in history was the NBA or the National Basketball League. Today, the NBL is known for being a popular sports league in Australia and New Zealand, where players like Josh Giddy and Patty Mills have played before. This new school NBL isn't the same one that was established in 1898. The OG NBL was instead established in Philadelphia, where teams spanning across surrounding areas would compete. The league was short-lived, disbanding in 1904 after only six years of operation. They never saw more than 10 teams. But as the game grew in popularity, one of the first big events linked to basketball was the first NCAA tournament in 1939. The championship was played between Oregon and Ohio State, in which Oregon won 46-33. In 1946, basketball would change forever. This is the year that the BAA, or the Basketball Association of America, was established. And this would later turn into the league we know and love today, the NBA. It was founded in New York and it started with just 11 teams, which was already more than the previous basketball leagues that were established before it. And this is where we found basketball's first superstar. And this guy's name was Ben Simmons. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it was not Ben Simmons. His name was George Mikan, which was one of the pioneers of competitive basketball and it helped establish the NBA as a legitimate sports association. During his time with the Minneapolis Lakers, he led them to five championships more than LeBron, and he averaged 23 points and 13 rebounds for his career. And he is just one of many superstars that have helped change the game of basketball. One of the biggest rule changes that altered basketball was the introduction of a 24 second shot clock in 1954. And this changed basketball from a slow paced, low scoring game to a very fast paced, high scoring one. And it definitely helped it become the high flying show that we see today. The back end of the 1950s brought in some NBA players that would impact the game on a new level. We had Bill Russell in 1956, Wilt Chamberlain in 1959. Both of these guys entered the league and became certified basketball legends. Russell would go on to win 11 NBA championships in his career while Wilt put up some of the craziest numbers in any sport ever. For reference, Chamberlain once averaged 50 points and 26 rebounds per game in a season. And not only that, he also scored a hundred points in a single game of basketball. The impact that these two players had on the game was truly beyond words, and they set the foundation for every future big man in basketball. In the year 1967, we saw a competitor league establish and quickly gain a loyal following, and this league was called the American Basketball Association, and it introduced some of the best basketball players of all time, such as Dr. J and Moses Malone. Even with the popularity of this league, the ABA was forced to merge with the NBA after 10 years, and only four teams from the ABA ended up staying in the NBA. It was the Nuggets, the Pacers, the Nets, and the Spurs. Around the 
time of the ABA's establishment, one of the best players in basketball history would be drafted into the NBA. His name was Lou Alcindor, later known as what you might know him as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He joined in 1969 and would never look back. He introduced one of the most unstoppable shots in basketball history with the sky hook, and he ended his career as the NBA's all-time leading scorer. In 1979, there was a brand new addition to the game of basketball that a lot of people were skeptical about and it was a big controversy, but this ended up changing the game forever. And that was when the NBA implemented the three-point line. Now, when they introduced this three-point line, they actually started off by just testing it out for one year. They really just wanted to see if the fans and the players were going to enjoy this new change that they were adding to the game. And since then, this three-point line has never left and has become one of the biggest parts of today's game. By now, players have gotten so used to this three-point line, there's actually been talks about adding in a four-point line to mix the game up a little bit more. Let me know what you guys think about adding in a four-point line. And while you're down there, you might as well hit the subscribe button as well. Thank you. Now, ironically, in the same year that the three-point line was added, Larry Bird was drafted to the Boston Celtics. And this started the ongoing rivalry between Bird and Magic. And that went on throughout the entire 80s, where Bird would end up winning three championships while Magic won five. Though they were both great on the court, their impact was far deeper than that. And they had managed to encapsulate the attention of sports fans around the world and really save the NBA from going bankrupt at this time. While it's true that their rivalry helped get fans attention, a special type of player that made the game what it is today was about to enter the league. Michael Jordan is often regarded as the best player to ever play basketball, and his intensity did miracles for the NBA. He skyrocketed basketball's popularity and created lifelong fans while having some of the most iconic moments ever. Jordan dominated the early 80s and 90s as he won three straight championships on two different occasions. This era of basketball is often referred to as the best time in basketball's history. It was played rough, but with a ton of flashiness. Among other great things that happened in the 90s, the most prolific may have been the Dream Team, which was formed in 1992. This was a mashup of the best players from the NBA putting on the USA jersey to go and play other countries in the Olympics. This is still one of the most popular teams in basketball history. The same year that the Dream Team was formed, Shaquille O'Neal was drafted into the NBA. Other NBA legends like Kobe Bryant and Tim Duncan also entered the league to close out the 1990s. The 2003 draft saw the most anticipated prospect of all time stay with his home team and enter the league with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavaliers. His name was LeBron James. Right up there with Michael Jordan, LeBron James' impact on basketball is unparalleled. The game truly would just not be the same without him in it. Defense adjusted to the modern styles we see today when in 2004, the league banned hand checking. Hand checking is the act of moving a defender or guiding them with your hands. And it was allowed throughout the beginning of basketball, which is why the league was always so rough and physical. The elimination of this defensive tactic made players have to learn how to defend without necessarily pushing their opponents. It has made for some of the best basketball ever played. And up until 2009, the three-pointer was a useful tool that NBA players used, but it wasn't really the focal point of any offense. But this all changed when Stephen Curry, the greatest shooter of all time, was drafted in 2009. Some people see Curry as the most influential player ever, and there's certainly an argument for it. Nowadays, nearly every team prioritizes three-pointers, and it has created some of the highest scoring basketball ever. It also created one of the greatest dynasties in NBA history, the Golden State Warriors from 2014 to present day have dominated basketball, winning four championships and having the best regular season record ever. Players like Klay Thompson, Kevin Durant, and Draymond Green have helped with this exponentially. This takes us to present day basketball, where we still see guys like LeBron and Steph dominating, but young stars arising like Giannis, Luka, Ja Morant, who are about to take the reins. And there's also some significant game changes that may be coming sooner than later. New additions to the game, like a four point line, may make their way into the game we know and love. And even though it sounds crazy, some people also thought that the three point line was insane. And now just look at it. Along with this new line, what they used to play may also change in the coming years. 
Wilson is the current creator of basketballs used in the NBA, and they just made a new game ball that could be used in the future. Click on the screen if you want to know everything there is about this basketball, and we'll see you guys in the next video.